Welcome everyone, I'm Marco Zuppone, I'm a Sentinel trainer based in Cumberly, UK, and in this short video I will talk about the Sentinel Decay Upon Chip feature. What is Upon Chip exactly? Upon Chip is a technology that enables the execution of portion of your protected code on the CPU of the Sentinel HL key instead of the CPU of the computer. In this way, Upon Chip creates an inseparable binding between the application and the HL key. The selected functions are adapted to the architecture of the HL key CPU, are encrypted and signed. They are uploaded to the key and executed when encountered in the protected code. The protection process is fully automated through envelope and the app on chip protection can be implemented with a minimum effort. The protection mechanism is fully transparent to the end user. App on chip supports only 32 and 64 bit native application. App on chip is available only on HL keys in driverless mode. So how does it work this feature? Envelope analyzes your code using a code transformation engine and with the help of the map file produced by Visual Studio Compiler, decides which part of your code are more suitable for protection. Envelope converts the selected functions to match the architecture of the specialized CPU of the HL key. Envelope helps to estimate the performance impact as well. Remember that the code will run on the HL key CPU that is different from the normal C CPU and for sure has lower specs as well. Let's see now the process more visually. The application executes normally until it reaches an upon chip protected function. Upon chip dynamically loads the protected code and executes it securely on the key. The app on chip DLL is in charge of this communication job. App on chip returns the result from the executed code back to the application. The application uses the result as part of its normal flow. Let's talk now about the performance impact and how to estimate it. There are two tools to analyze the performance impact of the app on chip protection. The first one is given to us through envelope. During the protection phase, envelope shows us an estimate of the performance impact. Envelope can produce a special version of the protected application. This version is a fully functional protected application that while it's running collects live performance statistics and creates a CSV file with all the data. After tweaking the performances, deciding which function to protect with this technology, you can proceed to create the production protected version of your application. Application protection and performance is a continuous process. App on chip and the app on chip performance profiler are tools that assist the process. Let's see now in practice how to use app on chip. We are now on my Windows 7 64-bit lab. I have installed on this lab LDK vendor suite and now I'm going to protect my test application using the app on chip technology. The first thing that I need to do is to open envelope. So I click here to open envelope. I need to select my batch code, that is this one. Then I go to programs and I add my native 32-bit application. This is the Windows 32 Bounce that is provided with the samples. So I press open. I click here and I select first of all the output file. I prepared an empty folder on my desktop so we can find easily the files. It's called protected. 
and the name I want to use for my protected application is win32 bounce underscore prot and I press save then I need to set the feature I already prepared an HL max key with the feature 333 so I enter feature 333 and then to enable the app on chip I need to click on the app on chip tab I select enable app on chip I receive email this message that tells me that app on chip requires the use of an HL key in driverless mode and I can select the function that I want to protect. Envelope automatically is able to tell me what is uh, his recommendation, what are the recommended functions uh, to protect with uh, the app on chip technology. The other functions that are not selected are always going to be protected but with the normal envelope engine. So here uh, it estimates uh, how much it will take, not much in terms of execution because uh, it's not able to do this in this stage, but it will tell me how much it will take every time this specific function is called to upload this function on the key. We need to remember that the key contains a CPU. We do not store anything about this application on the CPU, but every time that we reach the app on chip protected segment, the protected function, we upload it on the CPU of the HL key, the HL key CPU will execute it and then uh, it will return the result of the function to the device. So nothing is uh, stored permanently on the key about uh, the protected function. So every time we upload them and we receive back the result. So this will take, the upload time will take 3 milliseconds for those functions. So I can select other functions if I like and uh, with this indicator I can say if I want to optimize for performance or security so if I slide this one towards security it's going to select as you can see more function if I slide this one toward performance uh, it's going to select less function so the decision of which function you want to protect is yours normally it's a good idea to protect the function that have the your intellectual property there. So let's do this. So we protect uh, most of the function in this, in this example. And what I can do now, everything is ready. I can press this button profile performance. This functionality is for now available only for 32 bit application. So you can still protect 64 bit application using app on chip but you will not have this profile performance button what this button is doing this button will create a protected version of your application and this protected version will collect some data about how long it takes to execute the functions on the cpu of the hl key so it will give you a more accurate estimate of the performance impact of app on chip. So I press profile performance. This will start to protect the application. This application is ready, is ready in the protected folder. Please do not distribute this application to your end users be because uh, this one contains uh, some profiling code but uh, this one you can use uh, to assess the performance so you press uh, start protected program before to press it i connected my hardware key with the feature id 333 i press start protected program and you should use uh, it uh, at least uh, for uh, 10 minutes uh, to assess really all the performance impact so this is a very simple application. There are no a lot of menus or things to press. There is barely nothing. In a real scenario, you should click around your application to run the code that you are protecting with app on chip. So let's say that is enough. 
I close it and if you I will look to the protected folder you find this CSV file that contains all the statistics so let's open it with notepad and these are the statistics about the function name the function offset how many times this function was executed how much it took the minimum and maximum time that the function took to be executed and the average time you can analyze this csv in, in a better way with excel for example and get an idea of how what is your performance impact then uh, what you can do is uh, you can decide that is fine so you press the protect button or you can decide that uh, some function are taking too much uh, like for example this check collision is taking too much and let's say that does not contain the intellectual property focal for your company so you can say okay let's remove this from from the protection of up on chip or you can use this checkbox to make envelope the decision what to use based on that csv file so if i click here it analyzes the CSV file and decides that it's better, uh, in his opinion, to protect only three functions. I can accept this or I can say, no, I want uh, to protect the handle timer event as well, but not a check collision. So you are still free after the suggestions to do what you like to do. Now, I press protect. In this way, I will create uh, the real protected version of your application the one that you are going to deploy to your end users let's press protect protection is done I press close and now I go to the protected folder and I execute it what happens if I remove the key so here in envelope I left all the defaults value so it means that uh, it should take uh, in theory 300 seconds to find out that the key is not there because it checks periodically every 300 seconds but remember that up on chip the function that uh, are protected with up on chip are executed by the CPU of the HL key. So if I remove uh, the key, even if the 300 second cycle is not complete and one of the function protected with up on chip needs to be executed, this is going to be the result. I have an immediate failure of the application because uh, it's like to remove the CPU from the computer. So you can imagine what happens if I remove the CPU that needs to execute my code from your computer this brings us to the end of this video i hope you found it interesting please stay tuned to our channel for further videos thank you and have a nice day